Hello everyone, it's Mary from PsychicSoulmateReading.com. I'm here at the ravine. It's just a few, it's actually just a, a block away from my home and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to film our weekly reading. And I'm here not alone, I'm here with Dave. As you can see, he's just picking up some trash and that's what we do. We, we come here, we, we help the wildlife uh, preserve by just giving our putting our little two cents in by just picking up some trash and recycling so I'm going to be doing a reading for you we're just gonna go down here it's all the way down as you can see this is the up we come all the way that's the street is down there and then there's stairs and then we're down here so anyways let's go one of the beautiful things about this forest is it's completely natural which makes it very rare right here in the city of Toronto and um, they're working hard to to restore it to its natural state so they've planted thousands of trees and herbs and plants to help this forest floor come back because hundreds of different species of different birds migrate through here every year and there are different trees like um, redwood sugar maple it's really beautiful Yes, it is. And that tree over there is where I'm going to be meditating. It's my sacred tree. And I just love it. I get so many messages when I hug this tree and just put my back towards it. And I'm just going to keep walking to our spot. Oh, look at this pathway of flowers, nature. And do you hear the water in the distance? beautiful. Do I want to go this way or do I want to go that way? Go this way. Oh, look what I found. Mary found a piece of trash. She likes to keep the fairies happy. Got this from the dollar store. I don't have to touch it. And this was for free at Chipotle. And it all goes in the recycle. Let's go to our spot. That I tell the fairies that I'm going to be picking up trash from the forest and cleaning up Gaia, Mother Earth. And by an exchange, I ask that only that they just keep all the wasps and mosquitoes away from me. And so far, so good. That's our spot right there. Okay, we've made it to our spot. This piece of garbage we didn't get. Where is it? Oh, uh, can we reach it? There's no way. No, I can't reach it. Okay. Okay. Oh well. And that's the stairs to the street. Before we begin, let's just look at the green and just absorb and breathe in green. I got my tripod today so the camera is going to be a little shaky Dave agreed to actually to, to hold the camera while I filmed the video and we got some little doggies coming to visit us again every time I come here they're so beautiful dogs represent loyalty trustworthy energy and um, they're very healing so I'm gonna give the camera to, over to Dave and I'm gonna begin with our reading okay so I got my cards I'm reading with the, actually with the fairy tarot. I don't know if you can see them, but I'll post a, a photo of them. The fairy tarot cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so before I begin, I'm just gonna say a silent prayer to God, higher forces, the fairies. Give us a message for us this for our week ahead. Divine intelligence knows our need, knows where the right guidance is, and knows how to manifest it to us at the right time. I'm going to shuffle. I brought a crystal with me. Okay. 
Eight of Summer, Ace of Winter, Ace of Summer. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so the Eight of Summer is telling us that what we have thought was something that we really wanted to do in our lives. Perhaps maybe it was our life purpose or something that we thought we were heading in that direction. You know what? It's not, it doesn't seem like it is the right place for us to be. And it could be just what I'm getting is strong is like they're telling you to listen to your, um, your, your intuition. Listen into what is coming from here, from your solar plexus. What messages are you getting? Something that you thought that you really wanted maybe is not really what you thought you needed. Okay, so there's a difference between want and need. Okay, so it's telling you to go within and to ask yourself those questions. Go within your solar plexus and ask yourself, what is it that I really want to do with my life? What serves me? Uh, what is better? Uh, is that person perhaps the one that I want to spend all my time with? Or do I want to be without that person? Maybe I need to Maybe I need to let go of something in order to move forward. That's the message with the Eight of Summer. Ace of Winter, oh, we don't want to see winter. <laughs> this is too beautiful. Um, summer is. Anyways, the Ace of Winter um, is actually, it's saying that you have more control over your present right now, more than you realize. You have more control. You are holding all the power. You are standing on your triumph. All you have to do is to believe in yourself. Don't let the challenges or anything that has been discouraging you stop you. You are actually you're getting a gr amazing um, inspirations and ideas and all of these things are coming to you and you should believe in yourself and just go with it and believe that something that you thought was far away from you and separate from yourself is actually right here. You're standing on top of it. You're actually with it. You're, it's actually here for you at this moment. And that's what, that's what the Ace of Winter is telling us. Ace of Summer. Oh yes, we want to be with the Ace of Summer. It's telling you to open your heart, open your eyes, look at the beauty that surrounds you. New beginnings are coming up ahead of you. Oh, this week is pretty interesting. We got some new beginnings coming up. Like this is saying that there's something that's going to be awakened within you. It's actually your intuition is actually going to be giving you some some important messages, nudges. You're going to get like some visions. It could be uh, dreams. It could be in, you know, you could be washing dishes and you get a message. Something is coming to you really quick and it's going to happen unexpected and you got to believe and just you need to just believe in yourself so the dogs that represented they're also a message and they represent be loyal to yourself be loyal to you they say to honor your your truth honor what you believe in is true to you and that's what it's about it's about listening to the inner intuition and when I put these all together it's actually telling you that you're on a road you're on a path Interesting, you got to see the Eight of Summer. The Eight of Summer, I'm just going to come up. It looks like our path. And uh, so the universe is telling you to just to just dive within and stop listening to those voices in your mind. It tells you you can't do it or you can't achieve it. You can't have it. Um, just giving you all these insecurities. The mind is telling you and giving you all these insecurities. So it's a really good idea to go someplace where you feel very, um, very protected and very warm. Go near, go near a tree and just feel the energy and listen to the messages from a tree. Okay, so um, I'm getting a message, a strong message that actually Dave has a message to give you about this reading. So now I'm going to be behind the camera and he's going to be sitting in one place. So, yeah, Mary said uh, she picked up that I had a message, and she's right. And that is that this reading, Eight of Summer, Ace of Winter, and Ace of Summer, directly relates to my life circumstances right now. Because I've been going through a 
pretty intense transition in my life in the past year or so. Uh, most of my life I've been a professional musician and uh, that's been my, my dream since I've been a teenager. And I've really been focused on that, but parallel to that, along to keep myself sane, as I uh, went after my dreams in music, I delved into spirituality and uh, personal growth and reading cards and, and developing my intuition so that I was able to navigate my life with how it was going. And I just recently, this past year, I realized that going out to tour, in order to be a musician nowadays, you pretty much need to go out and tour and be away from home a lot and promote yourself. And I realized those are things I don't really want to do. It wouldn't make me happy. I just like writing music and recording music. And I still enjoy performing, but not necessarily being out all night in a bar somewhere or away from home a lot. So I had to sort of wonder what I was going to do next. And I did in this last year become a, a yoga teacher. I've also been doing yoga for many years, but this year I became a teacher. So I'm now starting to teach some classes. Uh, I've started having classes, giving classes once a week. So that's one thing that's been developing, but I was, until today, I was having a bit of a fog about where my life was unfolding next and what to do. And, you know, I, if anything, I was just feeling still inspired with music. I was, I was feeling, I've been feeling on fire for music and I was thinking, okay, this, that's great, but I, you know, I'm choosing not to necessarily focus all my energy there and make a living there. So what am I going to do? And um, my guides, I downloaded some information from my guides a couple of days ago where I got that click and I was like, that makes sense. But I hadn't actually spoken it out loud to anybody until this morning. Mary and I, every morning we brainstorm over coffee and we read cards together and, and talk about things. And I told her what some of these messages that I'd received were and they were so spot on it corresponds exactly to this so um, because now I am getting the confidence to share my my spiritual gifts and my psychic gifts that you know I've been using in my own life for for 20 years now even more and uh, you know I've been meditating every day for 20 years now so but I just thought I was always doing it for my own benefit and, like I said to keep sane in this world but now I'm realizing that I actually have some things to share and hopefully I can contribute to you and to other people, whoever is listening, whoever can receive the message, some of the hard learned lessons that I've, I've encountered and some of the tools um, that I've found very helpful um, in my own life. So it definitely relates to this reading. Like I said, the fog this morning started to lift and I felt a lot of relief because I was able to actually start seeing the path ahead and I'm starting to feel that confidence, that natural confidence, not I can do it like where you're really forcing yourself to have confidence, but that natural confidence that wells up from within when you're in tune, when you're in alignment with what the universe wants you to be doing. And that really, if I did have one mantra that I do use, it's thy will, not mine, be done. That's my number one mantra, so that I know that as best I can, I can get aligned with what the universe, God, my higher power, divine intelligence, whatever you want to call it, is. So that's it. In a nutshell, I'm grateful to be here today, and this reading really hit a more of a personal note with me, so I hope that helps you understand how you might be able to translate the reading into your own circumstances and benefit from it. Thank you. Okay, so this wraps up our reading for the week of Wednesday to Wednesday. It can actually relate to any time, so it doesn't have to necessarily be from week to week. Also be a tool guide for you right now, so that's how it works. So wishing you all the best. Have a beautiful week and namaste. Namaste.